So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Saint Graven here with another video. I love y'all. I hope y'all, your day, your night, evening, whatever, whenever you're watching this, hope everything going good. Um, I had got to thinking earlier. Just thinking about these Raven and, and, and something hit me in a different way and it made me kind of sad about these 2022 Ravens and a lot of Ravens teams that we've seen uh, in the past too but certainly uh, these 2022 Ravens because this is what we're currently watching this is the present this is the time that we living in right now because um, I, I was thinking about it and I even tweeted it out I'm like man the Ravens with all of this stuff that they have on defense I'm like man just just imagine what it would be along with Marcus Williams. Clean on Marcus Williams, he was balling, man. That dude, like Ravens paid that dude, what, $70 million? And that was certainly a, a good, uh, well worth it investment. It went like way against their grain. It, it went way against what they normally do, bringing in outside free agents that are entering their prime and paying them big money. That's not. That's just not the Ravens. So when we saw that they did that with Marcus Williams, it was a nice, pleasant surprise, and he delivered. He, he delivered on that bread and he showed them like, hey, I got y'all. So that's why that, that, that wrist injury that he got, it hurt even more. Um, and what's funny, I, when I tweeted that out earlier today about Marcus Williams, some people were like, hey, man, he need to just throw the club on. He need to, he need to throw the club on his hand and just come back early. Because somebody was talking about how they saw, I think, a Seahawks player or a Patriots player. They got a pick like last week and they had the club on their hand. And we've seen a lot of players come back and, and play with the club on and whatnot. Um, so it's not impossible, but still, like, I, as much as we want Marcus Williams back, and try, we all do. Like, I think that's one thing that all Ravens fans agree on. Marcus Williams has been nice for the Ravens. Um, but you don't want to rush him. And depending on the severity of it, who knows when he'll be back. I don't know. I know he is on injury reserve. Um, I forgot what week he went. I think it was against the Bengals that he went out. So we played the Bengals. Then we played the Browns. Then we played the Bucks. And I don't even remember who else. Um, but anyway, that's not, that's, but that's not the, the saddest part that got me. That wasn't even the part that messed me up the most because I was thinking about, all right, Ravens just added Roquan Smith. This will allow Patrick Queen to play even better. And he been he been doing his thing for the most part this year. He done had some hiccups here and there, but this will allow him to play better. Uh, this should help out. Um, this should help out just the whole defense. And the defense, even before Roquan Smith was even a thing, the defense has still, they've been coming together slowly but surely. They've been getting better and better. They've been clicking more. They've been gelling more. Things seem to be rolling. But what I didn't even realize, man, what really got me, because somebody, a couple people pointed it out under, under my tweet. And what got me is that these Ravens, these 2022 Ravens, specifically their defense, obviously their offense too, but I was just focusing on the defense. This defense will never, ever, this year, that we will never see their full potential, ever. The reason I say that is because they will never, ever be 100% healthy. Never. And my thoughts were just about Marcus Williams, but some a couple people reminded me. They said, hey, don't forget about Michael Pierce. And I was like, oh, you're right. I forgot all about Michael Pierce. All about Michael. And he was killing it, man. He was doing his thing. He and, and, and when they re first re-signed Michael Pierce, I was like, oh, okay. Ravens really going for the whole reunion thing this year. Brought back Michael Pierce. They tried to bring back uh, Zadarius Smith. They brought back uh, Brent Urban. Initially brought back Tony Jefferson again, but they're like, ah, nah. Yeah. So he went to the Giants. He's like, hey, I'm over here winning more than y'all. But anyway, um, with Michael Pierce, he, uh, he was playing really good. And a lot of times when we think about injury, when I think about injuries, I completely forget about Michael Pierce. And what I was saying earlier, when, when they first signed Michael Pierce, I was like, oh, okay, cool. I hope it works out. No, he, he looked good when he was with the Ravens before. No, with over there in Minnesota, it was like, uh, I don't know how it was for him that much, but I ain't really hit too much from him since. But um, I was cool with it. But then in the preseason, um, I remember there, there was one play, I think it was on the first 
against the Cardinals, I think. I think that's who we played first. It was on like one of the first defensive snaps. So one of the and, and I saw them like number fifty eight in the backfield, and I was like, oh, I said, what? Who was that? Because I, I just didn't remember who it was, and it was Michael Pierce. I was like, oh, I, I forgot that they had signed him, but he had looked good in the games that he played. So when he went out, it's like, man, um, that that's a big blow. It's a big blow. And then first game of the season, Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller. He went out too. And Ravens, like, they had really done a pretty good job of really taking care of the secondary this year uh, when it came to injuries. Really uh, covering their butts when it came to um, having guys ready for the secondary because, again, uh, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, they weren't completely right early on in the season. Um, but Ravens, they, they signed Kyle Fuller late in the offseason. They obviously still had Brandon Stevens or Darius Washington on the practice squad. They drafted Jalen Armour Davis. They drafted uh, Pepe Williams. So they really made sure, like, hey, that they kept Kevon Seymour around, too. So they really made sure, like, hey, we're we, we going to have this defense covered. We're going to have the secondary covered. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, man, that just uh, – Thinking about like the the Ravens defense not now with Roquan Smith too, and I it just it, I'm like man, I'm like that's tough man. Injuries are the worst part about football man. They they can completely change seasons. They can change the trajectory of a team. Um, I mean Ravens saw that last year, uh, but they can just they can derail everything fast. Uh, now thank goodness like obviously not grateful for the injuries because injuries suck like straight up. Um, but we're grateful that we're Raven, despite the injuries, the Ravens defense has still been able to do their thing. And you know what's weird? Like, Ravens, and, and this is just me. Let me know if you feel the same or different or whatever. But Ravens defense, I believe they are statistically bad right now. Like, oh, they're overall or whatnot. But when I'm, like, watching, they're not bad. They're not great yet. They're not bad though. They um they can play really good. They do have their times where they like they sometimes they just look like they just tired. Sometimes they look like they just they just start giving up stuff. But overall, they usually play pretty good overall, in my opinion. Um, got to do better catching the ball, and they defensive players. So I mean, it is what it is. But they don't look bad to me. They don't. Um, but I know the numbers are different now with the offense. Sometimes to me the offense just looks flat out look bad, but their numbers say otherwise. So it's 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 like weird. Like that's why I always say numbers don't always tell the whole story. They don't. Um, but yeah, man, it just sucks that we're never gonna get to see this full 2022 Ravens defense maxed out to their complete potential, and that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Um, because that's obviously the side that they, they invested so much in, heavily in. And you just wish, I mean, we've been seeing a lot of return on investment overall. I mean, we wish it could be a little better. Uh, so hopefully the second half of the season, again, because things have been rolling a lot more. Things have been a lot smoother. Hopefully the second half of the season they'll keep it going um, and get and continue to get even better. Um, but that was just that was just a little upsetting to me. And then just going down memory lane this year. So no Michael Pierce, no Kyle Fuller, uh, Marcus Williams out for a while. Um, Josh Ross, he been out for a little while. I know he should be back any time now. Um, no, but then Tyus Bowser, he should be back on Monday Night Football. David Ajabo, he'll be back over the next couple of weeks. So this has been just a, a, a weird season for us Ravens fans when it's coming to injuries because... I feel like we've gotten more guys back than we've lost. Like we've um, we lost Ronnie Stanley a little bit this season, well, but he ended up coming back. J.K. he was lost early on in the season, then he came back, and then now he'd be lost for a little chunk of time. Gus Edwards was lost for a little bit early in the season, now he's back, and now he's well. We'll see what happens with his hamstring. Uh, Justice Hill was he was playing in the early in the season, then he got lost for a little bit, now he's back. Um, Tyus Bowser lost a little bit early on in the season And Ajabo lost a little early on in the season Now they're Well Tyus Bowser back David Ajabo soon will be too So you see what I'm saying Mar Marcus Peters He had been sort of in and out Marlon Humphrey had been a little in and out um, 
Marcus Williams, he lost for a large chunk of the season, but he should be back later on down the road. So Justin Houston got lost for a little bit in the season, but he's back now. So you see what I'm saying? Like, we're not used to this, especially after last year. After last year, we heard somebody got hurt. Oh, boom, season over. That's a wrap. But this year, I mean, we obviously lost Jawan James and Kyle Fuller rest of the season. Michael Pierce rest of the season. Steven Means rest of the season. So we done still took some blows. But this year, as far as injuries, it's been a lot better as far as recovery. Now, is it coincidence? Is it the hire of Adrian Dixon from the Titans staff? I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, I'm happy to say that this year we've heard a lot less people saying I'm out.